Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are swatching my nude liquid lipstick category. Um, but first I just wanted to say, because I just filmed my lip gloss slash lip cream section, and I found three more <laughs> lip glosses in my bag here. Um, and I really just wanted to mention these in order to be complete, I guess. So this one was just in my Shop My Stash, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. So I really like this. I mentioned before, I don't know why it's called a matte gloss because it's not matte. <laughs> um, that's what it looks like. It's a really pretty nude. I also have this Buxom Vava Plump. I don't think they make these anymore. And I don't really remember what the difference is between these and their like lip creams. But this one is the shade Tope It Off. And I remember loving this. It's a very unique shade to my collection because it's taupe. Um, but yeah, it's this one here. I guess these are more like lip creams than lip... I don't know what to call this. Like a liquefied lipstick. It's much more opaque than the full-on plumping lip creams so yeah I don't know why they don't have these anymore because it feels really nice and comfortable well on my hand at least <laughs> but I do remember liking it when I used it and I forgot about my Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Lip Gloss <laughs> in the shade um uh, what shade was this? The sticker seems to have came off. I think this was the shade Papa Don't Peach, if I remember correctly. And I used to love this. That's what it looks like. A re very nice nude. It still smells like peaches. I'm definitely keeping this. It's so cute. So those are just the three that I forgot, in case you were wondering like if you've seen them. In other videos, I didn't get rid of them. I just forgot about them. <laughs> so, let's move on to the lip, um, liquid lipsticks. So they're actually all in the frame here. So this will probably be a shorter video, but that's fine because all my videos seem to be way too long. <laughs> so yeah, let me just clean off those swatches. So we'll start over here. I have a Makeup Forever um, Artist Liquid Matte in the shade 105. I think this is one that I might not like. Oh, it might also be dried out. If you can see, it's not looking great. It still smells okay. Yeah, so this is one of those like grayish tones that I used to really want to try and then I don't think they look really good on me <laughs> yeah I don't know if I should keep that because the last one I had was a Sephora collection cream lip stain and it made my lips look blue like it made me look like I had hypothermia <laughs> or something so I don't know I'm just not sure it does feel fine in a swatch it looked really dry but I think it's just a very moussey formula. Let me keep this and if ever like I pull it into a project or I shot my stash and I see that I don't like it then I'll just get rid of it. So next I have some Tardis lip paints. So these are not the glossy ones. They're the liquid lipstick ones. This is the shade Exposed. Ooh, that's pretty. That's more like a true like nude shade on me. I'm gonna keep that one. I don't remember how I feel about this formula because I haven't worn it in such a long time. And then this one, I don't know what shade this is. It just says OF52. 
on the bottom. So, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. This one's more dry for some reason. But it's like a deeper nude, right? Than this one? I'm confused. <laughs> Are these the same thing? No. Yeah, this one is more like a cool tone. So... I'll keep that for now. And then I have a full size one in the shade Home Slice. This one looks not as dry. Yeah, that one's more peachy. So I think these are all different enough to keep all of them for now. Then I have three KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Lolita. This was just in my Shop My Stash and I liked it, so I'm gonna keep it. It's like a more rosy nude. This one is more like a brown nude. It's the shade Bow and Arrow. This used to be really popular on YouTube. Yeah, that's a nice brown nude. And this mini one is in the shade Ludwig. That's quite similar, but well, it's more similar to the Tarte one. I mean, probably don't need these, these two look the same. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see after they dry down. Um, Cause right now they look very similar. Then I have four Too Faced Melted Mattes. <laughs> so this one's in the shade Sellout. This was, oh yeah. I just grabbed this from my Shop My Stash actually. And I really like this. I wore it with the Bite Beauty lip pencil. It's more like a pinky, so it made it more pink, but I really liked it. So I'll just swatch this one. See, it's more pinky than this one here. That's the shade Sellout, if I didn't say. Um, then these three are all holiday theme ones, so I have um, hot buttered rum. Ooh, they still smell good. That's a nice brown nude again, but more warm than this one from KVD. I really like the Too Faced Melted Matte, by the way. I think I mentioned um, before, like I had tried this one in my Shop My Stash. I think I mentioned in a video I wasn't sure if I still like the formula, but I do. It is like it does dry down like a typical liquid lipstick, but I don't feel like it's overly drying. Like it doesn't absorb every ounce of moisture in my lips, but it's it dries down enough so that it lasts long, if that makes sense. So I actually do really like them. Um, this one is in the shade Pumpkin Spice. Still smells good. And that's more of like an orangey undertone. I have another Too Faced Melted Matte in like a deluxe sample size, I guess, in the shade Queen Bee. I swatched it already because I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. <laughs> so it's this one here. It has like a more purpley undertone, like a more mauve. So I think it's different enough from these up here Although it does look kind of similar to this first one that I swatched from Tarte. I don't know. We'll see. And this one is a Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. So I think these came out before the Melted Matte ones. Is that true? I feel like this was a bit before I actually started getting into makeup, but my cousin gave me this. And I did 
I do remember I used it and I liked the shade, so I kept it. It's the shade Melted Nude. And yeah, it, it's in this like, um, that like cushion tip kind of packaging. It's really pretty. This one here, it's like a peachy brown kind of shade that I really like. So I'm gonna keep that one. So yeah, that was all the Too Faced. Then I have two Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Caramello. I think this was really popular back in the day also. Oh, that is cool tone. This is like that grazy tone that I'm not sure about. But I feel like I need to test it out some more. And then this little mini, I actually just opened this before filming because it had a plastic on it still. This is the shade Patina. I think this is a sample I got from Sephora. Ooh. So that's still like a cool tone, but it's honestly not really a nude. It's more like a mauve, like a rosy mauve. But yeah, that's pretty. This is a Clarins Velvet Lip Perfector. I put this in the liquid lipstick category, but I probably should have been in the previous video because it's not, it doesn't dry down. So, and it's one of these Again, this like cushion tip and it looks like this. It's very velvety as the name suggests, like a blurring effect kind of. And this was just in my Shot My Stash also and I loved it. So I'm definitely keeping that. I got that in a boxy charm. Um, I have two from Huda Beauty. This one is in, these are the liquid mattes, the old formula. I think she just reformulated these, so I guess these ones don't exist anymore. But this is the shade Bombshell. And I do really like this formula for a liquid lipstick. That's the shade, a nice like pink nude. And this one looks to be quite deeper. It's the shade Trendsetter. This one's more like a brown. Ooh, I like that. So we're gonna keep those. Then I have two Wet n Wild liquid cat suits. I don't know if they make these anymore. Um, this one is pretty deep for a nude, but I thought I would just include it in this video. It's the shade Give Me Mocha. Uh, the shade is Give Me Mocha. These dry down a lot, if I remember correctly. That's what it looks like. It's a really pretty shade. I have to wear this again to know if I like it, though. I don't like to get rid of things unless I know if I like them or not. And then this one is a lighter nude. It's the shade Nudist Peach. Ooh, that's very moosey. That's nice too. <laughs> so far I haven't gotten rid of anything, but that's okay. I didn't say this was a declutter video, so. Um, what is this? This is a sm sample size, I guess, of a Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Driver's Seat. Oh, that's dry. <laughs> oh, I think this is not good anymore. Yeah, that was like very dry and crumbly. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, this is not good. I'm gonna have to get rid of this one, unfortunately. But I think it was like a sample because it has a weird sticker on it. I don't know. 
Unfortunately, that is not usable. It looks, I guess it looks okay on camera, but in it kind of just all cr was crumbly and I had to like squish it down. So that has to go in the garbage, unfortunately. Um, then I have two Ciate liquid velvets. This one is in the shade Sydney. I'm running out of space. Oh, that's a nice cool tone nude. I think I like this formula. I don't remember really. This is the shade Bittersweet. That is like an even cooler tone. <laughs> oh, you're not in the frame. This one here. That's like, yeah, a very cool tone, like purpley brown shade. Again, I don't remember exactly how I feel about the formula. It actually looks very similar to this one. Yeah. I probably don't need all of those. But I can't decide. I don't know which one I like better. This would be a lot easier if I used my lip products more. Because <laughs> then I would know like which formula I prefer. But right now I just don't know. And the last one I have here is from MAC. This is a retro matte liquid lip color in the shade Burnt Spice. I used to love this. I remember it being quite dry, but I really just loved the color of it. This one here. It's a really nice brown nude. So I'm gonna keep it for now. <laughs> Oh, so I only got rid of one and that's because it, I literally can't put it on my lips. This thing here, it feels like sand. So yeah, a lot of these look the same, I know that. But I just don't know. I don't know which ones I like better. Well, what I can say is that I should probably not buy any more nude, well, any lip products in general, but we all know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so, but I shouldn't be buying like these like cool Tony nudes because I don't even know if I like them. To be fair, a lot of these I actually didn't even buy. They came in like Sephora favorites kits or in boxy charms or it's like samples. So yeah, but I do need to like, you know, get this down to a smaller number. It's like all of these like here look quite similar. And that's a shade that I don't even know if I like. So I'm gonna try and use these, like test them out at like actually on my lips and see how I feel about them. So yeah, those are my nude liquid lipsticks. And yeah, that's all, I hope. <laughs> But I still have all of these. So the last video, the last part in this series is gonna be lipsticks, like lipstick bullets or like tinted lip balm type things. So yeah, I hope you liked this video though. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next part. Bye.